you feel bloated and you can't have a you know what I mean a good go that means you got gas in your stomach and gas in your stomach can give you a lot of problem all right so we're gonna be give it up we got this pack on all right quickly before we go any further this is the book and a lot of people still asking me chef ricardo where can i get your book to buy how can i get the book to buy the book is on amazon okay yes lots of people still asking the question where can i get the book the book is on amazon okay what we're gonna do pour in some hot water one cups of jamaican hot water all right yeah the book is on amazon get yourself a copy of the book and support chef ricardo cooking well good vibes i'm not gonna be too long i'm going to be doing it thank you so much lady lady thank you so much for that I appreciate it so let's jump um straight into this recipe this evening all right because these are things the pharmacy buy this from you guys but i still have the recipe all right yeah they I the recipe from you but me personally i kept the recipe i did not um get rid of the recipe so number one you're gonna need some key lime or you can use lemon all right into the water all right first thing that's what you're going to do keep it active as usual all right perfect um, because I can't, I'm, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. All right, then. Number two, we're going to get some of your favorite cloves. All right. Remember, you can get cloves to buy in your local shop or your health shop or your supermarket. Cloves is very good for your stomach. Also, it get rid of worm out of your gut. You might have said, I don't have worm in my gut. Yes, you do have worm because you eat meat. All right, and that can leave inside of your stomach and give you a problem. All right, now we're going to be using some of our secret recipes, celery. All right, lots of people don't know anything about celery. You can drink celery juice. It is very, very good for you. All right. Turn on this, the cooker a little bit. All right. This is one of those kind of recipe where you guys don't see for a very long time. You know, see a uh, different kind of um, posh recipe online. You know what I mean? Meat for you one million dollars, two million dollars, but this is just something to clean up. But that meat we're gonna eat for one million dollar or one million US, whatever. All right, beautiful recipe for you to try at home. So I'm going to use about three um, celery stick. If you put them together, it's going to be with about three of them. All right. Yeah. And you can use the leaf of the celery also. Once you eat beef, chicken, pork, lamb, all of those kind of meat, you need to do a, a detoxing and, you know what I mean, clean up your gut because there's a lot of a stuff sick down inside of you where you need to remove. And the only way you're going to remove some of these 
um, things just sit, it sit inside of you for a very long time. And so you're going to have to do a little bit of cleaning out. Your, you know what I mean? Just like when you clean your house. You know, <laughs> it's it's so sad because sometimes when you look at the whole thing, you know, a lot of people, they clean their house, they clean their car, they get the clothes washed and everything nice and good. But when you come to your own immune system, you just chuck any or anything down inside of it and you don't care. I mean, no use, enough of us don't put any or anything in our house. A good vibes. You know what I mean? Enough of us. We don't put any or anything in your house. When you come to your house, no, you're not going to do that. Now, it's the same thing you need to treat your body. And any or anything you want to put in your body. Because you're going to have to take care of your body. You know what I mean? Good vibes. People, they don't know the thing, go. And I got some fresh ginger. I might have just great it. And put it inside of it, you know? Awesome. Ginger, very good. some fresh organic ginger now the Jamaican ginger is the best see there this is the ginger right here see what's going on in the kitchen this evening all right beautiful now you can also blend up the one of these ingredients too and once you blend it up strain it and drink it all right also but you can also make a nice lovely cup of celery tea from it all right, like what I'm doing right here. Beautiful. Yes. So you can see exactly the beautiful recipe what Chef Ricardo have been doing right now at the moment. Now, as I said before, many people don't put any anything in their house because their houses, you know what I mean, I work very hard for my house. And you know what I mean, I have to make sure everything is good. Now. It's the same thing with your body. Don't put any anything in your body, okay? It will mess you up in the long run. Now we talk about the blue pill last night. A lot of black men going to the shop, buying the blue pill, bring it home back. The missus find it in the washing machine and I ask, what is this? Breaking news. So I give them the recipe yesterday. Lots of people was asking me if this work yes it works 100 percent effective because garlic is in it and garlic help you with your blood all right remember garlic been using before me and you're born craig what's going on you know lots of people is, is asking me the question do this work 100 percent effective it works all right so Esther Delicious, what's going on? I didn't even see that. All right. Yeah, man. A lot of black men, they go to the shop and they buy the pill, them, bring them home, think they are a racing car. You're not a racing car. What are you doing? You're mashing up your liver and your kidney and your heart. All right. So that's why when you go to the pharmacy and go to the shop, you see this pill pile up inside of you. But why you don't know, you're in the age of 35 and you're taking these things it will mess you up so do not take the blue pill all right the blue pill is not a good one to take guys be careful of the blue pill all right so i turn off the cooker and we're gonna leave it for it to go on get down together as you can see all right yeah now as i said before many people does not put any anything in their house because they work very hard for their house 
and you know what I mean my, my, my things in the house are very expensive stuff so you don't want any anything in the house you want your place to look nice it's the same thing you want to do with your body tell yourself you don't want to have heart attack you don't want to have strokes you don't want to have um, diabetic you don't want to have cancer special um, prostate cancer black men suffer from prostate cancer a lot you know what I mean in Jamaica black man is just dying like nothing no, no, people don't see these things people don't talk about these things because it's come like nothing but in Jamaica right now in right right now speaking to you black man is going like nothing it's like nothing so if you don't believe me you can google it or you can go to Jamaica and ask the question all right because what happened we are not take the time to look after ourselves like when you look after your car your house you know what i mean some man find a new brand woman then he will do everything in other world for impress the woman it's the same thing you need to impress your body and make your body feel 100 percent good that means uh, when you step out you know say boy at least you eat some good food and you look after yourself lots of man still drinking still smoking not listening cut down upon these things because your health when you go enough of these big man when you go to the doctor and they act like a baby when they go to the doctor like baby and i see it with my two eyes but if you say to them don't do this don't do that some of them doesn't listen to their us to their wife because they think their wife is talking too much but what happened just remember, your wife is telling you the right thing, all right? But it's just a little tips and ideas for you. It's up to you. You can't force no one in this world to do what they want to do with yourself. You only can, you know what I mean, talk and explain to them and let people know what is good for their system and what is good for their health, you know what I mean? Your health comes first, you know what I mean? It's, your health is more important than the food where you eat at home because at the end of the day when you have a good health you can work and pay your bills buy good food and do good stuff but when you don't have a good health you know what's gonna happen see so you, you have to take care of yourself all right so as i said before back to the story if you does not do your blood test it's very important for you to do your blood test um it is very important for you to cut down on your meat. If you're eating too much meat, too much rice, too much smoking, too much drinking. If you're not listening, you will pay the price. I'm going to have to ask the question. It will happen. It's going to take long. But it will happen. No matter what you do, you can't escape from that. It, no matter what your age, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, if you are doing the wrong thing with your immune system, you will pay the price. And the price will be painful. I see it right now talking to you. I see people crying. I see tears coming from 50-year-old man. You know what I mean? So if you notice what's going on right now, cut the story short quickly. Um, the beautiful ladies and the man, the man as I read 50, they get sick. Bad sickness come on them. 50, 60, sick. All kind of sickness. Um, we, very few people right now living for 96, 98, 93. Very few. You know what I mean? They said Jamaican food is the best food in the world. But Jamaican is just going away as they reach 45, 50, 55. Um, if you guys not doing your maths and you're not looking and see what's going on, then I'm telling you, you need to open up your eyes because there is a lot going on at the moment. Not because you're not seeing it with your physical eyes, like what you see what's going on. You're not seeing it. But in Jamaica at the moment, there are a lot of people as they get sick and they go to the doctor and then come home. That's it. Some of them not even come home. 
they stay. Two days ago, I was talking to someone again in Jamaica. The person was saying to me, I said to him, he said, go and do your test, because you don't know. You know what I mean? People, this thing, um, prostate cancer, is taking out the Jamaican them, black people more than anything else. So, ladies, if you live with your husband and, you know, speak to him and tell him, you know what I mean, that whatever he's doing, try and look after his health and look after himself because the money and everything is very expensive, especially if you live in the Caribbean. You know what I mean? Jamaican people should be more healthier with a lot of natural stuff, with the natural, natural herbs and the fruits and the vegetables and cut them and the rice and the, 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 the heavy food. Because Jamaican food is very heavy. So what happened? When you eat it, it binds you up. And that's why you see so many people get sick and ill. But um, as I said before, I'm, not, uh, I'm just what I see with my two eyes and when I speak to people and you listen to people's opinion and what's going on, then you're going to have to share it because you don't want to see your black brothers and sister suffering. But a lot of our black brothers and sisters are not listening because why? They think they are metal or iron or plastic. But I'm going to tell you this. When you go to the doctor, and the doctor make decision, you will cry and you will be having something thinking about. Go to your bed, wake up in the morning thinking about the same thing, go to work thinking about the same thing, come back from work, sit in your car thinking, there's so much you're thinking about, then you're going to say to yourself, what's going on with me? Why I do this? Why I didn't do that? I'm not saying it's too late. You still can look after yourself and do what you want to do, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of black man is crying like a baby. Because one thing, not listening. Two, doesn't care. Three, you tell them to don't do this, then do the opposite way. And they think it's a joke thing. They laugh after you. And especially if you're a person who are smoking and drinking. And you're being saying, oh, I saw my grandfather smoking for 40 years. I not never do. Pussy and dog doesn't have the same luck. Just remember. You know what I mean? That's what my grandmother would tell me. Puss and dog does not have the same luck, all right? So don't watch what your grandfather do for 50 years, all right? The most important thing, you're looking after yourself, okay? That's the most important thing, all you need to do. Well, that's the message for you guys. If you think you learn something new, and just remember, don't go to the, the pharmacy and buy the blue pill, because the blue pill will mess you up, all right? If you want a good recipe, just reach out to Chef Ricard and I will give you a good recipe to replace the blue pill. God, everyone know what the blue pill is. The blue pill, it raises your heart. It messes up your kidney and your liver. They ain't going to say, oh, nothing no go, sir. Why all of a sudden these things that start to take over the whole supermarket, the local shops selling it. Um, everybody starts selling it. The meat shop starts selling it. <laughs> Everybody starts selling. Why? So just be careful of the blue pill because you don't want to mess up your health and mess up yourself because the blue pill will damage you. All right. You may not see what it's doing to your immune system, but all of a period of a time, your feel will start to drift away like a ship out of sea. Can't find a way for duck. Because why? You've been doing the blue pill for so long and now it starts to affect your immune system. So your immune system break down. So your immune system cannot control what you're putting inside of your immune system. So your immune system is saying, you know what, I have enough of this blue pill. Wish you can just get some natural home remedy. Boots up your immune system. Pump the blood slowly, more easily. And enjoy a better life. Um, where can it be? By key lime. Key lime is in the supermarket. Um, you don't have to use key lime, you can use um, regular lemon, but lime, I just care, you know, I mean, I cut this lime, but we, I just call it, that's the word, because <laughs> I used to it that way, I call it key lime, but it is lime, all right, yeah, so, Jen, what's going on, man, been a long time, what's going on, you've been disappeared, I think you're getting rich, 
But anyway, it's a good vibes. But people, just just wanna quickly give you an update because you know what I mean. Um, as I say, try and avoid the blue pill. Okay, because the blue pill is not one of those kind of pills to muck about with. You may not see it what it's doing to your immune system at the moment until one day. You know what I mean? You just tap a road and punch her. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. And then you're going to say to yourself, what's happened to me now? Then you can't get to, you know what I mean, to move forward. You're going backward. All right? So the most important thing is avoid the blue pill. Yeah, the blue pill is a big thing going on right now. The meat shop selling it. The corner shop selling it. Everybody is selling the blue pill. Why all of a sudden this is taking over the whole place? on our brothers why so people if you want to replace something for the blue pill get in touch with chef ricardo we have natural home remedy which works 100 100 perf uh, effective we're not talking about sea moss and all of those things too much sea moss doesn't good for you i did my research on sea moss sea moss is good but too much of it doesn't good for your immune system it will mess you up in the long run too much iron will damage you all right because sea moss have a lot of iron sea moss is good but too much does not good for your health also so a lot of people was asking me is it a sea moss no it's not sea moss you know what i mean we got great stuff out there man you don't have to take blue pill and fix up your immune system all right people let's remove because you can see what's going on right here this is cool down at the moment and this looking really good all right and you might have wonder what is it it's just celery ginger cloves and and lime all right and all of these things you got them at home let's get rid of the cooker you don't know the thing go already in the kitchen you know what I mean you don't see what's going on that's medicine and it's horn very good for the immune system a lot of Chinese do this one wow did um we caught it last night gonna be using some organic organic honey very very good all right all right so so you know that your honey is good because my honey is in the kitchen and it not turn into sugar so when lots of people when you go to the supermarket stop by the honey we have a beer sugar night guys that gonna lead you to diabetic all right Get pure honey and use it. I don't follow people when they hear them and say, oh, honey is doesn't good for you. It's from the bees. And the, let me tell you something. Honey mentioned in the Bible about a million times. And that's because they don't want us to use it. Honey mentioned in the Bible about a million times. Still effective. All right. Let's try this. Mm. Ah, that is amazing. And fantastic people that is it in Nigeria with a proper um, perfect man got two slices of lime inside of it make that keep floating inside of it and keep it you know what I mean you don't know the thing already perfect i only use honey no sugar very good you know what happened the sugar thing you're telling people don't use sugar and 